Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Coming back to you today with another one of my top-down videos. Um, I think this is probably the best format considering we're going to be looking at this Parker Jotter today. Um, I also considered doing a four minute fix. Um, I tussled with it, I wasn't sure whether to or not. Uh, decided not to purely because it's a nice pen. Um, I could probably do this in two minutes, I could probably do this in ten minutes. So to save having to worry about a time constraint, I thought probably best if I just you know talk about it. It's a great pen. So we're looking at the Parker Jotter. This is the stainless steel version of the Parker Jotter. The the actual design of this, it's it's changed over the years. Uh, this pen was designed 50 years ago, but really it hasn't all changed that much. A lot of it's down to the manufacturing of it. The manufacturing over the last um, 50 years has changed, which has meant that certain elements have changed just so that it's easier to manufacture. Um, but it really is as close to the original design as it as it possibly could be. So as I say, this pen is... Um, the last update was in 2016. Um, I've owned this pen a little bit longer than that, um, but as I say, there's there's not really that much difference between the uh, the different versions. Um, as you may or may not know, Parker um, have been crafting pens um, since the since 1880, I believe it is, so over a hundred years. With this pen being around for about 50 years. So there's there's definitely a lot of skill and knowledge in the, in the way that they uh, they create pens. So to go through some, let me ask you the measurements first. Then the length of the pen. Sorry if I've just tapped the camera. Also apologies. So I've had to I've had to lean on this tabletop a little bit more so we can get closer to the pen. So if you see the uh, the camera shaking a bit, then I do apologise about that. So the length of the pen um, from the uh, the the button to the end is 13 centimeters 130 millimeters if you want that in inches there you go it's just about five inches the width of the pen at the thickest is nine millimeters um, at that in inches is oh god that's so hard to see what's that that's three eighths of an inch yeah not the best with inches. Um, this is this version itself is the stainless steel version. So the full barrel, which is you know the the, the body of the pen, um, is crafted from stainless steel on the outside. The reason I say that is when I open it, I do think this material here is a different material, and I think this is the way in which that they've been able to save some costs and also the way that it's manufactured as well. I mean, it may be still stainless steel, um, but it's a it's a different bit. It might actually be down to the fact that to be able to press this and then be able to make that as well, it needs to be made in two pieces. So I might actually be wrong, and this is an extra piece that they push into it. But it does it does seem like a different metal. Um, you, there are lots of different versions of this, or at least different different colours at least. Um, the stainless steel version is the same color from 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 the the entire length of the barrel. The other options to these, especially the the essential version, which is which is these, they, they fall into the essential category on uh, the way that uh, Parker pen categorizes their pens. Um, it, it's it's mainly all down to this bottom barrel. So the bottom barrel comes in blue, black, purple, pink, orange, green, lots and lots and lots of different colors. Uh, and it's it's a um, it's a coating on the um, on the stainless steel pen itself. There are some other versions uh, at a, a slightly lower price, where instead this this bottom half of the barrel is made from plastic instead, and uh, it has a a little metal tip at the end, so that if if you do happen to rub it on something, that it will it won't. Um, it won't damage the end as much. Um, so some other features, it's a click, it's very springy, it has a really nice click to it, it has a very good feel. 
uh, you can get a bit of a flick on it if you're one of those people that likes to click um, it's very addictive I can see why these fidget clicker things are so popular this is a pen that I do find that no matter what if it's in my pocket I click a lot um, if you don't like that do not buy this pen other than that it's an awesome pen you should buy it um, one of the, the the things that you'll always know that it's a park pen uh, one the top half of the barrel here it says Parker around it and two um, this is a trademarked um, pen clip so the arrow that's on the top of here um, is trademarked by Parker pen so the internals of it you have Parker pens own refills which I have to say because this is such a popular pen you can get these ballpoint refills which are great they're not particularly expensive here in the UK they're about three or four pounds each I'm not too sure how much they are in the US but I'm guessing they'll probably only be about two or three dollars um, the the ink inside is they refer to as their quint flow um, so the gel itself or the, uh, the the ink that's on the inside uh, the quint flow technology that's in there is supposed to give a more superior flow to the ink um, so that you get less um, gaps uh, as you get towards the end you, you definitely start to notice that you do get gaps but obviously that you know that's the downside of all of these sort of um, uh, ballpoint pens this is the medium end um, you can get a finer end with a with a smaller ball on the end the bottom half of the barrel uh, you have the spring in here um, mine's a bit stuck in there sometimes you can actually give it a tap and it'll come out but mine's mine's quite firmly lodged in you then have the top part of the barrel where you have the you have the clip you have the uh, depressor there's a spring in this which is separate to the spring that's in here as well and that's where you get a lot of that nice springiness from it um, this uh, the, the refill is being pushed back from this as well as being pushed with this as well which makes sure that it is nice and firmly held into place inside which hopefully you can see I'm not sure if you can see this sometimes when you take apart uh, similar pens to this when you, you start to take this apart this part of it the, the clicker bit the construction it, it falls out um, but with this you can see that there is a plastic insert into there which is where the clicker um, where the mechanism for this this works and you can see on here you, you know there's that there's the in there's the out there's the in and it just it just pushes it around each time screws into place and has a really really nice fit there's there's no um, worrying that it's going to come come open um, not particularly heavy in fact it's not heavy at all it's not too light that you don't know that you've got a pen in your hand it's just it's just an all-round nice pen um, as far as EDC pens are concerned this really is great no matter where you are in the world you will be able to find a Parker pen refill or you'll be able to find a compatible one these are some of the most prolific uh, and easy to find refills all over the world and it's such a beautiful classic pen that every single time I forget it or lose it or think oh bollocks where did I put that uh, I always come back to one of these now the proof of the pudding apparently is in the tasting it has a very nice point there's there's no sort of dip um, I've got some other pens like some of the zebra pens where when you get to the end there's a, there's a notable little notch as it comes down to to this bit so it's very hard to write here you have to almost hold your pen a little bit higher with these pens if you want if you've got the type of writing that you get down really close you can get close to the end there's nothing that, that's going to stop you where, wherever there's no hot spots depending on how you write I've seen people write like this I've seen people that, that hold it closer over that finger no matter where you hold this pen you're going to be able to find an easy way of being able to write with it I am um, It's 
just brilliant. It's just a really, really, really nice pen. And it's a pen that I wholly endorse. It really, really, really is. Okay. Um, yeah, as I say, strange um, video for me to make. I've never made um, a video on a on a pen before. It seems such a, a simple thing, um, yet I know people that could probably make a 30, 40 minute video on a pen. Um, so yeah, I need to get my head round making videos on pens because they're useful and they're EDC. Um, brilliant. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link for this in the description below. Um, if you choose to use those links or if, if you even just want to have a look at it on Amazon, um, then that's great. Anything that I uh, receive from Amazon goes straight back into the channel. Um, don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, that is if you like my content. You know, I definitely don't want you to force it if you don't like it. If there are parts of it that you don't enjoy, then please feel free to make some comments. If there are parts that you definitely enjoy, then yeah, just, just you know, leave some comments. That's great. If you'd like to share it, that's even better. And yeah, that's about it. Ooh, one thing to note. So the last, I think this is the sixth week in a row that I've made a video. Next week, I'm away with work in Barcelona. So if I can, I'm going to try and make a video whilst on site in Barcelona. I'll be there from Friday to Sunday, which will mean that I may miss my normal Sunday uh, video slot. If I do manage to make a video while I'm away, then I'll edit it when I get back on Monday and will hopefully have it online for you uh, Monday evening. So yeah, there might be a slight delay this week, but hopefully if I get to make some content on something while I'm away, then that's great because Barcelona is really cool. Brilliant. Thanks. Um, stay safe, stay Moorlander and stay DC.